Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically we're going to be talking about how I would go about fixing the transmog situation. Now, I know inevitably I'm going to get this stupid ass comment where someone's going to say, My God, you're complaining so much even though I'm literally just calling out what Bungie's doing. They're literally going to say, Oh my God, you complained so much. Maybe, maybe talk about a solution instead of complaining. Alright, yeah, let's do that. Immediately, like, take out two of the materials. No synth strand, no synth cord, just synth weave. Just make it one. And just make it bounties. And I know I know there's going to be people already coming at me saying, Oh, well, I thought you were tired of bounties. Yes, in a fucking perfect world, it would literally just... Like, Ada would just be there and be like, Hey, Guardian, you want me to make you something? Yeah, I want, I want this armor and this armor. Okay, cool, that's going to cost you like... 3,000 glimmer and like maybe 50 shards legendary shards there you go in a perfect world it would be that free instead of a fucking grind but it's this is bungee we're talking about so there has to be some sort of grind so in order to pad out content you know they have to have bounties so a bounty system would be perfect one how like i think a perfect one would be something like how we have the guardian games bounties i think those are great because they're random but they're not like outlandishly like oh yeah get like two kills with an smg and then three kills with a scout rifle and then 50 kills with like this weapon it's nothing too crazy and like nothing annoying it's like those are literally just like just get a certain amount of kills with the, with either this subclass or that subclass that's really it make it really simple so that way people who are doing their weeklies uh and when i mean mean weeklies i literally mean like their weekly bounties for the crucible gambit and vanguard because if you don't know you still get bright dust for turning in those weeklies then it's just another bounty that people are already going to be doing because i already do those weekly so I might as well just have that in a rotation so that way I can be earning Synthweave while I'm doing my weeklies. Not only that, uh, obviously take the the uh, the limit down. Like, no cap. Take the cap out. There's no reason to have the cap there. I mean, like, sure, you can you can still sell it. Uh, the, the bundles or whatever, definitely you can still sell them, but it, there can't be no gap or cap. And for the people who are saying, no, that would devalue the Eververse, uh, no, it wouldn't, dude. Like, literally, if anything, it would, like, like, again, like I said in my last video, this would make Bungie make better looking armor because they would have to be competing with themselves. Are you saying competition is not good for them? Are you saying that them competing with themselves would not be good for the consumer, which you are? That's the thing. It's like, let's, let's not forget you're the consumer, dog. If it's better for you, why are you fighting this? As a consumer, bro, this is why I want Bungie to have competition because it would be good for us. But y'all not ready for that conversation. So first and foremost, what are the changes so far? First, remove two of the useless material that we're gonna have to grind for. Make it just uh, synth weave. From there, make it bounties. I'm okay with the bounty system, mostly because I kind of have to be. It's not like there's going to do anything else. So at this point, just make it as good as the bounties are in Guardian games, which they're literally effortless. So that way people who are doing weeklies or just want to get one piece can knock it out really fast. And even then, you still have to go to Ada, get the bounty, do the thing, and then go back to Ada with something as simple as like World of Warcraft, you literally just have to go to the transmog dude and he's just like, hey, what's up, what do you want? Oh, I want this, okay, cool, That you're done. Peace out, dog, that's literally it. But again, we've established Bungie really just wants to double dip on you, the paying customer, so it cannot work that way. So remove two materials, remove the cap, uh, you can still keep the Eververse because I know Bungie's not gonna wanna take that away which what the fuck ever and uh, that's it really like no cap no two material no three materials just get make it one uh make the prices like i don't really care about the prices just don't make it like a thousand <laughs> a thousand legendary shards per armor piece not set piece don't make it like that outlandish and don't be like oh yeah 500 like 25 to 50 per armor piece i think is okay i think that's very 
okay, especially since a lot of people have like a lot of legendary shards that they're just never gonna use. And I know people are gonna be like, well, what about the new players? Let them let them grind legendary shards. You know as well as I do, you just have to play the game to get legendary shards. It's not that hard. Don't treat it like it's something crazy because it's really not. And that's really it, dude. Like, honestly, I'm making this video because A, I know people are gonna fucking comment that shit because people are potatoes. And B, I really like Kujay's video on this topic. Uh, it was great. Like, he, he hit the point. Like, just literally just do it better. It takes literally content creators, like, not even thinking about it. Just, like, immediate, like, oh, just do it like this. This is, like, effortless. Why did you have to do this and make it super complicated and just piss off the majority of your fan base? I just don't understand it. Like, honestly, at this point, it just shows, like, who really is the bootlicker out of, like, the whole fan base. Like, oh, man. It's, it's really wild. We're going to talk about f a transmog for a while. Not only that, but I'm going to transition to transmog a lot more in, in uh, the future videos just because I really do like the aspect of the transmog in Destiny 2. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, link in the description below. I thank you for coming up to this point and I'll see you guys later.